close your eyes and watch your breath. Keep after the breath, keep after the mind. As the Buddha said, you should make yourself your mainstay. And this is how you do it, by remembering all the things you've learned from your teachers, all the things you've learned from the Buddha, all the things you've learned from your own practice. What works, what doesn't work, what's good for the mind, what's not good for the mind. You want to remember these things. And then you want to be alert to see if you're actually following them. Because if you learn things but then you forget, it's as if you didn't have anything at all. And what can you depend on then? Your parents can't come and tell you what to do all the time. Your teachers can't come and tell you what to do all the time. You have to internalize their message and then remember it. So we practice mindfulness, which is keeping something in mind as a way of strengthening our memory. And then we practice alertness to watch over ourselves. And then finally, ardency, the maintaining the desire to do this well. Without that desire, nothing works. So you need these three qualities, ardency, alertness, mindfulness. That's how you build a refuge for yourself. As the Buddha said, you build an island for yourself in this way. Floods may come, but they're not washed away by them. In other words, greed, aversion, and delusion, they can come flooding through the world. They can come flooding through your mind, but you don't get washed away. In this way, you can depend on yourself. We talk about taking the Buddha as our refuge. Well, we do this by developing the qualities that he developed, ardency, alertness, mindfulness. And that way it's like we have the Buddha inside us, always teaching us, always reminding us, looking after us, urging us when we need to be urged, being stern with us when we need to be, we need to be stern with ourselves. That way we can depend on ourselves. That way we really are safe. So try to develop these qualities every day. Because without them, you can have all kinds of support and all kinds of help from outside. But it falls away, falls away. You forget. Or you're not watching. Or you don't really want to follow through with, with those teachings. In which case, they don't have any use for you at all. And they can't protect you at all. It's when you develop these three qualities of mindfulness, alertness, and ardency. That's when all the good things in the world are in your mind and they, they can protect you in all locations at all times.